Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Libra, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for August, of course. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out, darling Libra. All right, in the comments below. That's how I keep up with you, of course. All right, Libra, we're going to get into three rows for you today. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now. All right, Libra, this could be romantic or platonic, darling, not my business, all right? Your second row today, Libra, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. Could be spiritual guidance, could just be um, a message that you need to hear today. It could be just a confirmation for some of y'all, all right? And then in your third row, Libra, we're going to be getting into just your predictions, all right? If you continue going down the same path that you have been going, following in this energy here, I can make a really solid prediction about what's going to be happening in your life, right? But I always say the future is never solid, darling, all right? Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe libra if you enjoy this reading or enjoy my vibe is completely free to do i really appreciate it for those that take the extra step to support me in that way all right so starting out this energy here libra you have this five of cups coming in here in the back of the deck here i actually like this a lot for you libra because it represents this sense of like this initial disappointment that some of you libras have been going through all right this initial disappointment that you've been going through libra and the storyline behind the Five of Cups is this sense of where it's just like that initial disappointment, as long as that doesn't have you leave you feeling stuck or having you become stagnant due to like whatever, you know, this could come in the sense of like Libra, maybe recently some type of frustration of some type of relationship in your life, all right? Frustration in the career, perhaps for some of you guys, the career, your career, your work environment right now is really stressful, drama, or maybe for some of you guys, this frustration Libra of perhaps wanting to progress further i get this sense of fear i feel the need to tell you libra giving yourself more grace i feel like you guys are being way too hard on yourself currently here all right and so with this five of cups energy here is the best has yet to come another zodiac sign got this i believe last week and so it's really interesting to see it pop up for you as well libra so let's get into these rows for you darling all right i'm really excited of what's going to be happening for you guys especially libra with this uh your second and third row so let's get into the person that's on your mind right now darling all right you have the chariot with the ten of wands as well as the moon card stepping forward to you libra all right the person that's on your mind right now all right i get like this sensation for you libra that this is more so of a person that's been starting to pop up in your head more often recently i get this sub sense of where you're probably for like 90% of you Libras is someone that you've been thinking about in the past maybe this person's like a past friend past lover here I feel like there's just like a lot of nostalgia that's coming in for you here it's being triggered by dreams it's being triggered by uh, spiritual signs something very specific to them that reminds you of them here and there's a reason why is that's coming forward to you Libra all right because with this chariot energy here there's things going on that you're not quite aware of all right. I feel like your path is soon going to be aligning you with this person again here, or at least it seems to be that way. Ten of Wands here with this cherry energy. All right. The reason why I say this is because while you might be having those dreams, you might be having those thoughts right now, Libra, whoever it is that you're thinking about currently, it's not due to you having like an obsession or anything like that, Libra. It's literally due to the fact that like you're receiving their energy you're receiving their thoughts here libra and so you know we always say thoughts are energy darling right and so this is quite easily or quite literally rather libra like a person um from your past that uh has this strong desire in reaching out to you but it's like the sense that they don't really know how too much time has gone by so much was said or so much was done libra that they feel like there's no going back there's no point in trying to save this here but i still get like this sneaking suspicion here just due to this chariot energy libra i get like this sneaking suspicion here that for many of you guys here they're gonna be it's like this sense of like spur of the moment like rush of emotions that this person ends up reaching out to you all right so i like this a lot for you initially libra let's see how uh these actions continue progressing here but really there's this sense libra of where it's like someone really wants to have something to say to you someone wants to really libra address this ten of wands issue here it's like that sense of wanting to fix things tens representing closures to cycles as well libra so it's this sense of like wanting to put an end to perhaps like um resentment or the silent treatment or what have you i just get really this strong sensation libra of where it's like someone just really misses you all right so much has happened so much was said 
you may not even think that this person cares about you as well but they actually do i feel like there's like a lot of um bittersweet energy associated with this as i connect deeper with this energy libra all right it's so interesting because it's like i see just like two humans just being very human and it's like if both sides were just to showcase their raw vulnerable emotions things would be so different but it's like this sense for you libra i'm getting goosebumps right now so i know this is for a fact for a specific libra i so i i feel like for you libra there's like you think about them when you dream about them the you you their energy there might be that initial moment being like oh wow that might sound nice connecting with them well let's see how you feel let me not be presumptuous here queen of potions yeah there is like this sense libra where it's like because you did have them to be part of your life at some point in time here all right so there is like this sense of where you're able to reminisce as well but i feel like on your side here libra you're just like you know what i gotta go to bigger and better horizons you it's on the some level that you realize that this person is not meant for you or you accept that maybe too much was said too much was done perhaps here last one for you yeah queen of needles queen of cups as well as the queen of needles or queen of swords here libra this is your energy here i feel like for you libra it's the sense of where it's just like you love them but not you don't love them enough to bring them back into your life again due to whatever caused you to feel like you have to be extremely protective of yourself here i feel like it's one of those things for you libra right now where it's just like the wound might be too fresh for some of you or it's just like it cut too deep maybe for some of you guys libra you're afraid of even entering that zone again but again i get like this strong feeling where it's just like both sides just have these feelings but it's just like due to everything that has happened up until this point it just makes it feels as if it's so impossible here what are their actions going to be towards you libra let's take a look here what are their actions going to be towards you because i do really feel as if someone greatly misses you here and i never have that in my readings so i don't usually get like this sensation ten of uh, cups here darling ten of cups here this is the this is the card libra of creating a family together this is the card of fulfillment here the reason why they miss you libra is because they miss the emotions that you made them feel they miss the sense of family that they have the sense of closeness with you here it's almost as if libra they took your love for granted at the time and now that you're gone or no your energy is no longer available or readily accessible to them it's like they just watch you from afar and she's like man i really miss uh relate like that relationship with libra i really you know it's that sense of like every uh situation and when i say relationship libra i don't mean just romantic i mean platonic family relationships are not just romance um hello <laughs> speaking of which the lover's card yeah it's like this sense libra where it's just like every connection after you maybe not every connection but i feel as if something's causing for them right now libra to feel that really causes them to really reminisce realizing just like how either connected you two were or just how beautiful the love that you gave to them libra was right the ace of pentacles here i feel like for many of you libras you really helped elevate them all right you might have helped them get a job help them financially help them mature all right i see really at this point in time libra where it's just like they kind of see you as that pot of gold all right and so i won't be surprised libra if you hear back from them if you hear from this person i don't know if it'll be this week but i can tell just where the general momentum of this energy is going it seems to kind of, girl not me knocking over my citrine um I just kind of get this sense of like emotions just like when they reach out it'll be like in a spur of the moment like emotions making them feel really sentimental at the time that's what i get with this so yeah libra that's what i got for the person on your mind we kind of unexpectedly got pretty deep right off the bat darling right so now let's take a look libra on what you need to hear right now i want you to initially take note libra that this two of cups was the heart of your spread representing the sense of like the main theme for you relationships is this two of cups right I want you, i'm gonna hold this card actually just on its own closer so you can actually take a closer look here all right some of you libras 
you had someone that was part of your soul tribe so you could call that just some part of your soul family soulmate twin i don't care about your terminology that's your business libra all right but you had someone in your life or you had a situation in your life come to you at a specific point in time to teach you things to give you just certain experiences it doesn't always have to be a lesson maybe it's just a certain experience with somebody here uh libra and i feel like for you you are getting confirmation and just like accepting how situations are and realizing that there's just like uh they were not the perfect like it's like the it was not the perfect situation they were not the perfect person but they were perfect for the time period that it was it was good enough for what it was it served its purpose all right that's kind of like the main me message that i get here is that it served its purpose here so whether this is a connection whether this is a career path i don't again that's your business libra all right but i feel like for you here with this two of cups there's this sense of where i feel like you came to terms with accepting a situation for what it is and i almost get like this sense libra where it's like you're going to have certain things come up from your past libra coming up from your past and tr and presenting itself to you again from a more developed place from their end if if there's humans involved with this but most, more specifically here, Libra, I feel like the focus is, is on you. I, don't be surprised, Libra, if you're going to be getting the sense of familiar challenges you're sent your way here because stuff that you dealt with in the past. Because it's like spirit wants you to go through certain experiences right now. Uh, I almost called you spirit, <laughs> Libra. Spirit wants you to go through certain experiences right now, Libra, because they want you to, ex to experience that experience how many times can i say it from this new version of yourself libra right with this queen of pentacles here i see how you are now is leaps and like light years ahead of where you were at the time when certain things were part of your life for some of you libras and this is again this is not going to be for all of you so don't make it about you if it's not about you darling especially if this is about like if you're trying to make like some x that's blocked you it's not that libra but i feel like for some of you guys libra it's like that sense of like certain things came in your life at the wrong time but it was meant for you certain things came into your life at the wrong time but it was meant for you all right and so that's why spirit is going to be bringing forth certain things into your place again and we're going to take both of these because it's like there are certain things not everything again libra not everything but there is like seemingly something in specific that I feel like ended too soon. All right. Something in specific that ended too soon. But also in that same token, like certain things that do come back into your life here, it's not going to be that sense of like taking it back in Libra. It's that sense of experiencing that trauma or experiencing whatever that prop, the obstacle is, that objective is from a higher, from a more elevated place, from a more developed place. So you can kind of see in yourself how much you've grown, right? So two cards came out for you. Normally I only do one of these. You have two and nine equaling to 11, that master number Libra. You have beloved and you have, oh girl, what does this say? Dances on the, no, oh, dances on one foot. Okay. I thought that said dances on the floor. I'm like, girl, <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> <laughs> dances on the floor beloved uh radical acceptance Ooh, libra radical acceptance here this is literally what we were just talking about and balancing act interesting here i would even say this is your card libra just because let's obviously we're scales right that balancing act here even the moth i feel like the artwork of it's going to resonate with some of you libras or this could just be a projection darling of my own all right because i have memories of i think this is called the luna moth or i called it a lunar moth when i was a kid in new york and i would see these here all right but it might have some spiritual significance for others maybe i'm not projecting here because i am a libra scorpio cusp all right but I feel like this these this combination is the embodiment of where you're next or where your journey is leading you. Learning for you, Libra, of how to have radical acceptance, but still honoring yourself. Learning how to give grace to other people, but also putting yourself as the first priority. Learning that certain things are not personal when people are not able to love you in the way that you deserve. Realizing it's not about you. 
right? Really interesting. I like this a lot, Libra. I like this a lot. So we're going to get, and also write down the number 11, all right? And look that up in numerology later. You have releasing your blocks, Libra. First quarter moon in Scorpio. Hey, I just said I was a Libra Scorpio cusp, honey. And then releasing your blocks here. Now, I'm not going to sit here and just spend a minute talking about this, Libra. We're all adults, so I'm sure you can unpack this and make it as individual as you can. Because I feel like we kind of already, already talked about this. We just addressed it. So why do we need to talk about it some more, honey? Allow that card to be a confirmation for you. All right. And don't mind me, Libra. I'm taking a time stamp, darling, because we're about to be getting into your predictions for today. All right, darling, see, what's, see what we can be predicting. And keep in mind, Libra, for the most part, I kind of skim over the cards, but I don't really take them in. Like, I, there's certain cards that will call out to me, I'm like, and I super notice, like with the Six of Cups, for example, I always will notice that. Or like that death card that we had for you. But it's like, this is usually my first, like for the most part, it's, I'm actively consuming your spread uh, just as you are at the time. So you have the King of Wands, Six of Cups here with the Four of Swords. Predictions I'm going to be happy, uh, that's going to be happening for you here, Libra. I see you getting more attention through this, if I can hold this. I see you getting more attention, Libra. All right, this is a time for my uh, Libras that are running a business or social media, like I don't, whatever it is that you gain value from public attention here. And many of you guys are going to be continuous, like, I feel like blossoming quicker and quicker. I'm hearing, what is that word, uh, Libra, compounds on one another, where it just like doubles each day, where it's like, what is that word? I think it's compound, where it's just like you get a dollar, but it doubles each day. So you start with $1, then it's $2, then it's $4, then it's $8. Does that make sense? I don't know why I felt the need to like break that down entirely. But uh, that's what I see for your uh, career path, Libra. I also see, darling, all right, I'm going to explain why I keep on getting that sense of like someone coming in from the past here. You have that Six of Cups here, Libra, and the Six of Cups talks about uh, people from your past, all right. Part of the definition is not the entire definition, but mainly people from your past, Libra. Four of Swords. This is a card of healing, having quiet time alone of self-reflection. All right. It's that sense of having that distance between you and someone from your past. And now that distance has, is starting to close off again because it's again, it's there's your story's not done with somebody. Your story's not done with something for some of you Libras. But I feel like the majority of you, it's going to be somebody. All right. And so I see your path uh, realigning with certain people. How long that lasts? Could be a day, could be an hour, could be for the rest of your life, Libra. All right. So I love you so much, darling Libra. Hopefully this gives you some resonance. Remember, you can book a reading with me, simplyvelker.com. Next to my uh, social medias, TikTok, Instagram, as well as Facebook, all just being Simply Velka, same as your darling. Until next time, Libra, I love you so much, darling. Bye.